Um, I have 19 students in my class and they range from gifted to um, LD and they are sitting at mixed ability groups. So there are um, verbal leaders, there are math leaders, and there are um, artistic leaders, but there are also those students who are weak in the same area. So they are mixed ability groups. And this task, because it requires math, it requires drawing pictures, it requires verbalization, it requires having a steady hand as you do filming, there is an ability that each child can contribute to this project. And the team will pull out the best in all of them and they will all be proud of their accomplishments. Um, as a fifth grade teacher, one of the very important strands that I'm supposed to teach is the scientific method. And so I'm trying to incorporate um, that sense of science and inquiry from the beginning of the school year until the end of the school year. So one thing that we're doing right now is traditionally called an egg drop contest. And so they are, through actions, coming up with a hypothesis. We think that if we create and design this contraption, then when my contraption is dropped from three feet holding a raw egg, the egg will remain safe as it lands on the ground. And then the next trial would be at four feet, five feet, etc. So I'm trying to get them to, um, in a real life situation, hypothesize and design. Now the um, dynamics of my classroom are um, that we work in small groups. Typically um, four students to a group, they're accustomed to this. For this particular assignment, I've tried to give them roles. Um, everyone needs to contribute However, I want one person accountable for that role. The roles are secretary, primarily to jot things down. Um, secondly, a designer, ultimately responsible for the drawings that are submitted with this project. Uh, then we have a cashier. Um, related to this project, we have supplies and a supply list that has to be purchased and they have a budget of $30, so the cashier um, adds up the supplies and determines how much change they would get back from $30 payment. And the last role is a photojournalist, and his role is to use the iPads and film important, important segments of the planning and then the testing. Um, as I design this project, you will see the science in it through the scientific method and laws of aerodynamics, force, um, technology. We definitely are using the iPads to uh, videotape and even simple technology as a calculator uh, to be precise in their addition and subtraction as they purchase their materials and the engineering is clear in that they are trying to design a contraption that will carry the egg safely to the ground. But make sure you point an arrow at it so we know which it is because I like to do that so I know. Uh, are you trying to don't you think we should put, don't you think we should put, um, the trap door isn't going to work. It could work. No, Cheyenne said she didn't because we're dropping this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Wait, anyway, that was thinking that if it tried to fly out, why don't we put, like, uh, like a little... Now, another component that is being employed, they have to write in a hundred words or less a written description of their design. So we've got that verbalization, um, through the written language going on as well. 
When I designed the math element of this project, we have just completed addition and subtraction of decimals. So including a spreadsheet and money certainly reinforces that skill. I gave them a budget of $30, which would be a small amount. I told them that really they would have enough money to buy within the limitations, um, quantity limitations I gave them. They really could buy whatever they needed. I just wanted them to have that budget sort of skill. Now, when we finish, obviously they will rejoice when their egg does not crack, but we will have discussions on feasibility. Okay, yes, yours was successful at three feet, mine was successful at three feet, but yours cost $15.86, mine only cost $9.32. So if we were marketing this, what would be the best decision as a salesperson? So those conversations will occur sort of in the debriefing part of this event. Um, regarding comp competition within the class, Right now, the four groups are so involved in what they're doing that I don't think they've particularly noticed what the other groups are doing. So whose idea was it to do it this way? Uh, we all, we all This is a drawing of what you're creating? Yeah, we're going to try to make this. So that's on the left. That's not right. We have our egg in the middle. We're going to tie a rubber band over it. Then add a bunch of tie tape on it. So it sticks together. And this is our plastic bag. The pressure of the air and the oxygen. And we're going to try to put wire all over it. Why don't you think? Why don't you think? Alex, what about your group? Um, we're almost finishing ours. And, um, um, we're adding a few stuff at um, at the bottom just in case if the if the falls too hard they'll soften it and if the egg falls out we thought we could put um, the cotton strips over the egg just in case. We are ready to rock and roll. We got the we added we bought we got the bag we added the bag yesterday but and then we had we got two bags from the store and then we took one bag we put it on and we put the other one on top so it can catch the air and then when it falls. Okay, so this is I I have two groups who are ready. Elijah, what did also, you want to also, add? We also put like a sponge inside the cup for like a little cushion seat. Yeah, like what we did is we put one in the bottom and then we put one around the cup and the inside and then we put the egg wrapped up in cotton. So it's like impossible to fall out. I think the competition will increase when the drops actually uh, start happening. Um, one thing that was interesting, I have one student who's particularly bright. He's a new student to the school, so I really don't know a lot about him. But yesterday, first, first thing he said, can I do this on my own? And I said, no, you're part of a team. He got quiet. And he sat down and he drew his design while the others were discussing their ideas. And when he was done, he said, let me show you what I've designed. And of course, he had a great idea. The kids were supportive. And boom, his idea got pushed to the front.
Well, Mariah has been very instrumental in helping in the organization of the classroom, the concept of mixed ability grouping, and math being such an important facet of our curric curriculum, I basically selected the groups based on their math abilities. So I want to have one strong mathematician, one weak mathematician, and two somewhere in the middle. So um, Mariah has helped with that organization. Um, as I was planning this lesson, it's technically in our science time, so she encouraged me to incorporate the pricing and uh, so from that, I came up with the spreadsheets, which were the price list, and then um, the spreadsheet that they actually filled in. Also, it was her suggestion to include um, the use of a calculator, which, I mean, real world, if we have a string of more than three or four numbers, we'd be grabbing our calculators as well.